In today's video, we're gonna learn how to download and install Ubuntu server. So first of all, you need to go to the website ubuntu.com. Hello and welcome back to my channel. On this website, you will find two different variants of Ubuntu. One is for desktop and other one is for servers. We are going to install server, so to download server. Click on download. And here you can see Ubuntu desktop and server variant. But we are going to download server. Click on get Ubuntu server and then click on download Ubuntu server 22.04. Downloading should start now. Let's create a virtual machine. I have created two different videos on how to create virtual machine in VMware Workstation. If you want to learn how to create a virtual machine and how to add resources in professional way, you should watch my other videos of VMware series. And I have request for you to please like my video. And I have noticed I am getting very good views. But you guys forget to like the video. Thank you, let's move forward to the video. On this page, hit enter on try and install Ubuntu server. It will start the installation process. You should see the prompt like this with no errors. On this page, we will select the language. In my case, it's going to be English. On the next page, it's going to ask you if you want to update the new installer or continue with without updating. If you don't have internet access, Select continue without updating otherwise go with update to the new installer. On the next page, you need to select your keyboard layout. In my case it's going to be English. On this page, just keep Ubu to server check and hit enter. Because we are going to install the default Ubu to server. On the next page, it will show you the IP address. Obtained from the DHCP server, if you have internet access, otherwise there will no IP addresses. I suggest to have the internet connection to make it a smooth installation. On this page, you need to put in the proxy address if you have one. Enter it here, otherwise leave it as it is. On the next page, for the mirror address leave it as it is. This is the address for the Ubuntu packages to be updated from. On the next page, you will be prompted to configure your hard disk layout. Select use the entire disk. Or if you want to customize the layout, you should watch my other video on how to customize storage layout. You can click on the I button above to watch that video. Keep the use and entire disk checked and set up this disk as LVM group. Then hit enter. On this page, it will show you how the disk is going to be partitioned, hit enter on done. Once you hit enter, it's going to confirm you one last time for the partitioning layout. Select continue and hit enter to confirm. On this page, you need to enter your first user information. Make sure you'll write down the information on a page, because if you forget this username or password, you won't be able to access your Ubuntu server. On this page, it's asking if you want to upgrade to Ubuntu Pro, Check skip for now, but we can upgrade in future if it's required. On this page, make sure to select install open SSH server. Using that service, we will be able to access the Ubuntu server using the PuTTY application remotely. On the next page, it's asking to install anything from Snaps. Keep everything unchecked. Snaps are the ready-made services. That means you don't need to put in all commands. You just check one of them and they will install everything using the script code, but we don't need any of them. So let's keep all unchecked and continue installing. So now I'm going to install PuTTY on my computer. Go to Google and type PuTTY download, and then click on the first website. Then click on download here. On the next page, download 32 bit or 64 bit, depending on your windows. In my case, it's going to be 64 bit. So let's download and install PuTTY. Meanwhile, the Ubuntu server is in installation process. This is the interface of PuTTY application. You type in the server 
IP address on the first box and click on open. The installation process took 10 minutes and now it's successfully installed. Select reboot now and hit enter. Congratulations my friend. Your server is installed with no errors. Now let's check the IP address and access it using PuTTY application to see the IP address command is if config. But if you see error in command, then download a tool using this command, apt install net tools. After that type the same command and it will show you the IP address. Let's log in our server using PuTTY application. You need to type here the IP address and hit enter or click on open and then click on accept on this dialog box. If you see this prompt, log in as, that means you were successfully able to connect to the server. Otherwise you see an error of no connection to the server. Here you need to put in the username and password. Congratulations. Now you can access your server remotely. Let's type the same command here to see the IP address. You can see it's working perfectly fine. So in case you want to access your server outside of network, you need a public IP address for that, then you will be able to access your server from anywhere. All right, friends, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you feel this video was informative, for you make sure to share this with your friends. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. You can give your reviews in the comments box. Thank you and I will see you in the next video. Until then take care and peace out.